Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to manage an iron condor trade on Robinhood using one of my live positions. Uh, for visualizing, I'll use um, this tool, it's Draw.io. Um, I'll put the finished um, images on Google Sheet, which you can download uh, by getting the link from the video description. As always, I like to give my viewers something um, to work with. To mess with so that you know you can really solidify your knowledge um, if you're watching my videos and learning please drop a like subscribe to my channel um, and if you have any questions right if you have questions that means you you were trying to learn you you were going to learn if you get the answer so please uh, email or comment your question I'll, I'll answer within like two days or so so all right let's get to it um, so very quickly our condors this is what it what it is. I think this will help you understand a little better how it looks like. Essentially, um, this from left to right is the price, right? So on the left, smaller prices. You know, to the right, higher prices. You have your um, bull put spread here. Uh, this is your long put, short put. This is your uh, bear call spread, short call, long call, and you want the stock price to say in between of these two spreads. That's your iron condor window. As long as stock price is around this within this green box, the option is going to the iron condor will expire worthless and you'll get to keep all your premium, right? Um, the way it works, let's say the stock price is right now in the middle. What's going to happen is um, your profit's gonna stay around here. It it's essentially moves with the stock price, um, but if the stock price stays, then um, it'll stay there as well. So, for example, let's say the stock price starts going this way and it goes, it crosses your short call, your long call, and it just goes to a really high price here, all the way up. So it it's testing your upper side, the bear call spread. What's gonna happen is the profit is going to move like this and then once it gets here it'll be out of your max profit range it's going to start dropping this way and then it's going to at one point get to here as you can see this is your max loss area somewhere here somewhere here was your break even and here is your max profit so it'll go down like that same way if the stock price ends up um staying uh, start dropping it'll go down all the way a lot of long way down and it'll go past your short put long put then the profit will this is your max profit area it's gonna start dropping and then it'll cross break even and then it'll be in max loss all right and just to show you the width right between these two put strikes and the sorry to put options and call options that's your spread width your collateral is based on the width of these all right so let's go over the example uh, i want to go over so this is a iron condor that i sold last month it's going to expire this uh coming friday this is my window Th this is how they usually show you this is my short put this is my short call um so let's go i drew it here so i have the strikes here so you see 187 to 20 that's pretty much what they're showing here so you know right now the stock price is here we're in the middle so my profit you know as you can see since microsoft's been here so right around in the middle between my window the option price is slowly decaying um as we're getting closer to expiration so let's say uh, i want to show you what you can do if it goes test the upper side or the lower side so let's say instead from here the stock ends up climbing very high and it goes past 220, 220, and it's here somewhere. Okay, so it's like 230 or something. So my bear call spread or the upper side is getting tested. What you can do is you can roll these this untested bottom side closer um, by narrowing down this iron condor window. It'll make make it harder for you to profit but then again if the stock price stay, stays here and you don't do anything on the expiration date you're going to just lose your whole collateral which is going to be your max loss and you rather um, do something to manage your position which is if you roll these untested sides and bring them closer you will be able to collect more premium by rolling them closer because you're essentially 
reducing your chance of profit. So they will, they're going to give you premium for it. So you could do something by rolling these, what you are gonna do essentially, start reducing this iron condor window. So how close can you go? How much can you roll them uh, upward? You can take this put, uh, short put strike to all the way um, as close as literally having the same strike as the short call. At that point, it would essentially become um, an iron fly. On Robinhood, when you do this, they don't really recognize the strategy iron fly. They're going to just break it up. What you will see is you have two option spreads now, uh, a put credit spread and a call credit spread. So in our case, let's say the Microsoft stock price is 203, but let's say it ends up going to something like um, 230. So, and I know that I'm gonna lose this for sure if I don't do anything, I'm going to lose my whole collateral, which is the spread width times 100, $250, but I don't wanna do that. So I want to collect a little more premium. Um, so what I can do is essentially um, just bring it all the way as far as possible, right? So what I can do is Yeah, this is what it's going to turn into. So my this short put is going to be here as well. Okay. Now this, obviously I'm going to change this. It's going to be 220 as well. And since I'm trying to keep a 250 um, spread width, this is going to be 217.5. Oops. Okay, so that's how I would manage it if this uh stock price was testing my upper side if it was if the stock price went the other way i would have done the same by rolling the call side up so how do you roll what do you do is let's say we're trying to roll the puts put side or the put spread what you're gonna have to do is first close the existing strikes by buying the opposite options and then open a new um put credit spread so how do how do you do that? So let's go to my put um, options. Here it is, the 187. And so this was I sold this one and bought this one. So if I wanted to close the one that I sold, I have to buy it. So I, I click buy, and this one I bought it. That's why there's a plus one. So I'm going to put sell sell. All right, and now I need to open it again, right? So I'm gonna go up, and remember I'm trying to go get as close as possible because I know the loss is imminent. So I want to reduce my maximum loss by collecting a little more premium. So I will go here. This, now this is my new short put and this is my new long put. Okay, so let's see what happens. Um, I mean, it's gonna give me some premium to collect. Um, what um, since the stock price didn't really go up in here it's not going to reflect the correct amount of credit i would have gotten if you know the trade was actually behaving like the example i'm trying to give you so just i'm just trying to show you what happens um see this is what's going on notice how i'm buying to close because that's what, why i picked these two um options so they're closing my previous or existing initial um We'll put spreads and now this is opening a new one, right? So just like I showed, the whatever I had here, it's gone. It's going to be closed by uh, these two things. Oops, these two things. And then I'm opening these. So this is where I am. This is essentially a short straddle because I have the same strike price for the short put and a short call. That's pretty much it. Um, I will make these images available uh, i'm not sure i'm haven't figured out if i can share this tool same way um google sheet but I'll, I'll try to figure something out but yeah that's pretty much it for managing iron condors and the other thing is if you don't want to roll anything and you just want to close it out because you don't feel comfortable managing it you can always do that because if you cl you can close your iron condor anytime by buying it back and you can do that without losing you know exper i guess without taking the maximum loss 
So let's say the stock price went to 225 or 230 or whatever. It's going to, it, it won't immediately get to the maximum loss of 250. It'll be probably 200 or something like that. So you can still close it without managing and not take the maximum loss. So that's also another viable option. Um, if someone, if you're someone who's not comfortable doing these roles manually, because that's what it, we have to do in Robinhood. Um, I guess that's what you get for not paying like, um, I guess, what do you call commissions and whatnot, you know, but the good thing about this is you're going to know exactly what you're doing in Robinhood. You have to know what you're doing. Um, that's why I say like start out with smaller trades and then you can go up once you learn. It's It can be very rewarding because you don't pay any commission, but you just have to know what you're doing. So yeah, so you can do two things. Roll out, um, roll your untested side, bring them closer to your tested side, or you can just close out your position early on, you know, without taking the maximum loss, whichever works for you. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please um, like it, um, subscribe, share with your friends or families. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or um, leave it in the comment. Thank you.